Hi there, it's Dave Warner from Warner Epoxy. Today we're building a big countertop. I got 72 square feet of countertop. I am mixing up 224 ounces of epoxy. We have silver glitter, black glitter, and we got uh, antique bronze mica flakes. I already got the glitter in there and I'm going to add the mica flakes. We're going to mix this up and then we're going to spread it out. I already mixed the, uh, the uh, rusty epoxy for three minutes. Now we're going to do all the glitter. Can't tell how good this mix or not. Change colors. It used to be clear. Now well, it's a glitter mix. That's going to be mixed up enough. This one's a pretty big piece. I don't have the room. So we're, I'm going to be working on the outside. And I got counter behind us over there too. And we'll just get what we can. This I'll use my 1 8 by 1 8 trowel. That way we know how much epoxy we got on here. of epoxy in front of my trowel. That way you know you're getting enough epoxy everywhere. this big piece and pour this one up. All right, yeah, I got all the epoxy spread out. I got all my pieces done. Now we're going to chop it with a brush, move anything, any of these uh, mica flakes, a spot that don't have many, 
pull out my bristle that just came off. And as you can tell, I forgot to put my gloves on, so it's too late now. And, uh, some of my mica chips stuck to the bottom, so if I get a spot that don't have any, I'm going to scoop some out of the bottom. And then, but now we're just going to chop it all in, get rid of all our, our trowel marks, make sure that uh, we don't have any lines in our epoxy when it dries. Get them all out. There's quite a few mica flakes here. I'm going to spread some of them out. There we go. That's looking better. So I'll be chopping here for a little bit, but you see me chop, it's just a random pattern. I just get everywhere just to make sure all my trowel marks are, are removed. We don't want no natural man-made lines in these. That'll, that would show up, right? I don't know if anybody's noticed, I am uh, in a different location. This project was too big which is always a good thing when you are growing. Um, so I am now looking for uh, a workshop. I need, uh, you know, like a big pole barn or something that's heated. And so I will be looking for some place to move, move to. Hopefully it don't take me too long of a time to find a place. That's why you use a bristle that's black. When something falls out, you can see them. Uh, if I were using a white bristle brush right now, I'd have a hard time seeing them when they fall out. But then after it dries, then you notice them and it's too late. This piece is uh, to resemble quartz, so I got uh, the glitter and the microchips in it. And I painted it with uh, the bare paint primer one. I did two coats because the, you know, especially on this one, the the paint, you know, is like the finished coat, right? I can most of what you see is the the paint from doing the substrate because it's you know just clear with. Uh, like the chips and uh, glitter, so I can see through a lot of it. All right, I got it all chopped out. Now it's time to get rid of the air bubbles. So you're gonna use a blowtorch and all the start off your piece, get all the dust out of the tip.
Okay, we went through and we spread out all the Leica chips, uh, make sure there was no big globs or anything that we didn't like, we made it look really good, spread out some more of the glitter that were blotchy. And then we uh, went through and got all the air bubbles out, we uh, torched it three times. And this counter here will be installed in about two weeks. And we're gonna, before we install it, we are going to sand and hone this one. This is not going to be a glossy finish, this one's going to be honed. And hopefully we will get that uh, part of the video up on YouTube and the install. This is Dave Warner from Warner Epoxy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.